Okay, here we have a numerical methods uh, example. Um, it's an example with the newton raphson method. And it's a quite lengthy problem, but let's extract the important bits of information so we can solve it. <coughs> so we want to use the newton raphson method to approximate the root of the function x squared minus 6x plus 7. So that's a pretty important piece of information. We need to know the function we're dealing with. And we also need to know our initial guess, which is 0 0.5 here. And we're also told to record three decimal places for each intermediate calculation. And we want to repeat this process until we get the exact value of the root, which is x equals 1.586. And that's right um, up to uh, three decimal places here. And we want to note the number of iterations. And we also have a little uh, clarification here. Um, which tells us to keep all decimal places until the end of each iteration. So when we are plugging in our x values, so for the function or for the derivative, we're going to keep all the decimal places and we're going to cut it off. We're going to cut off the decimal places and record three whenever we get to the end of each iteration. So for the calculation of f of the f of x or f of xi, we're not going to be doing any uh, chopping of decimals. Keep as many as possible. All right, so uh, let's get started. So whenever they said do as many iterations as possible, you're probably hoping that this method is pretty efficient and gets there quickly. So let's hope it does. Okay. So I'll rewrite the important information that we got from the problem statement. f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 7. And our derivative, pretty easy to calculate, just 2x minus 6. And we're starting with the initial guess, 0 0.5. All right. So what I like to do beforehand is calculate the function and the derivative at our x value before we actually plug them into the formula. With that, we need to do that. f of 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5 squared minus 6 times 0 0.5 plus 7, which is 0 0.25, minus 3, plus 7, or f of 0 0.5 equals 4.25. So that'll become useful when we need to plug it into the formula. And f prime of 0 0.5 is just 2 times 0 0.5 minus 6, or 1 minus 6, f prime of 0 0.5 is equal to negative 5. Okay, so we have our xi value, our function value, and our f prime value. And I'll rewrite the general formula. So our approximation equals our initial value minus f of xi over f prime of xi. And substituting these values, we get our approximation, our first iteration, we get an approximation of 0.5 minus 4.25 over 0 over negative 5, which comes out to be approximately... 1.35. So this was nice. We didn't even have to chop or we didn't even have to round any of our decimal places because there was only two decimal places uh, for this given value. Okay, moving on, we will now set 
our new x sub i value to the approximation we just got. So for our second iteration, x i is going to be the 1.35 that we just got. So we need to calculate f of 1.35 and f prime of 1.35. So that's going to be 1.35 squared minus 6 times 1.35 plus 7. And we get f of 1.35 is equal to 0 0.7225. And one thing I want to point out is you see four decimal places and you might be tempted to round to three, but do not round here. We cannot round until we get to the end of our approximation for the second iteration. So f prime of 1.35 is going to be two times 1.35 minus six, or 2.7 minus six. which then comes out to negative 3.3. So we have f of 1.35 equals 0 0.7225 and f prime of 1.35 equals negative 3.3. So now we'll plug these values into our formula to get x sub i plus 1 equals 1.35 minus 0. 7, 2, 2, 5 over negative 3.3 and we shall get 1.568939 okay and guess what this is the end of our iteration so this is where we will round to three decimal places. This is what the clarification was referring to. So our second approximation with the second iteration is x sub i plus 1 is approximately 1.56. We round up to 1.569. Okay, now this for our third iteration we'll start with an x sub i value of 1.569. So whenever I'm doing these, another tip I have is just between each iteration, make some mark or some signification, something to signify that you're going from x sub i plus 1 to x sub i, because each time your approximation will become the new x i value. Alright, so here we are on the third iteration. xi equals 1.569. And we'll calculate f of 1.569. And as I said earlier, we are not allowed to cut out any of the decimal places. So to play it safe, I would recommend maybe seven or eight decimal places, so two or three more than, than we need. Our final answer is going to be three decimal places, but having extra or even more than that will not hurt. And f prime of 1.569 is going to be negative 2.862. Okay. And when we calculate x sub i plus 1, we get 1.569 minus 0 
five seven zero eight over negative two point eight six two and we're still not rounding keeping as many decimal places as we can one point five eight five six two one five and this is our indication to round we got to the end of our third iteration so rounding we get x sub i plus one for the third iteration is one point five eight six oh boy would you look at that with just three iterations and using three decimal places we got the exact value of the root approximated with three decimal places and if that's not impressive to you then I feel pretty sad because I think that's a uh, pretty impressive that this Newton Raphson method can accomplish that with just three iterations so thanks for watching uh, once again I hope these this helped you understand uh, Newton Raphson method